no, no. Max is wanting to be Kylo Ren. Ah, he, Max Kylo Ren, Ben Solo, Ben Solo. Oh, he wants his sword back. He wants his Kylo Ren sword back. Ah, oh. Max as Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi. Welcome to Canada Travels, Texas. Yeah, you just saw Max playing with his Kylo Ren lightsaber. There he is. Max! Max! There's Max. There's Max. He's in his blue, kind of a, almost looks like a Class A U.S. Air Force uniform a little bit, doesn't it? Just kidding. That's his blue uniform. And there's Allison! Look at that! And here, this is Max's first real winter with us. As you can see here, we have ice here in Central Texas. And you get to see my truck soon, okay? Here's my truck. Go Texans, go Texans. All right, check out the ice on my truck. Woo! So it's kind of icy. That's a true Texan sticker, right? Yeah, look at this ice, man. So, uh, we will not be traveling today. Are we gonna travel today in the truck? So we'll be on foot in our neighborhood. All right, let's see if seventh floor, what is it called? Seventh flag. Seventh flag. Seventh flag coffee and tea shop will be open. All right, look at this. Hi, Max. Max, sit. Sit down. Good boy. Good boy. So I got my hand free here holding the camera, but other than that, got the gloves on. All right, we're going to head out this way and we're going to walk towards seventh flag. Okay, we're walking on our way to seventh flag coffee shop. It's a lot of fun to go there. We go there and read, drink ginger tea. Another huge tactical tip is ginger tea. It's got so many benefits. I'm not gonna go about telling you what it is. You can look it up online. But fresh ginger tea is the way to go. Also, another tactical tip a lot of people don't understand, especially as they get older, is that they think that they all wanna move to a warm climate. <clears throat> Let's say they may wanna move from New York to like, Miami or Hawaii or someplace like that. But the truth of the matter is, the human body, especially as we get older, we need all four seasons. You gotta at least, have, at least have two seasons. When you're in the same season all the time, the body homeostasis is not in its natural habitat, or so to speak. And so, it's great on days like this where the, what's the temperature, Allison? It's obviously below freezing. It's 28, not the teens, but 28 degrees Fahrenheit. You just gotta know how to get outfitted right, go to Cabela's or go to your military PX to get some proper outfitting, clothing. And for me, the most amazing thing right now is I'm breathing in 28 degree Fahrenheit air, but my body's warm. So it's actually really, really therapeutic. All right. So we're headed to the coffee shop. I'm show you what it is. All right, we are at Seventh Flag Coffee Shop. It's warmer than 28. It's actually warmer than 28, but you see, it is melting, which means it's probably a, a little, it's over 32, so it's not that cold. You see the icicles? Now let me see, I'm gonna breathe here. Do you see any steam? Here, breathe out real quick, Allison. Let's see. No, I can't see. Nah, you know why? It feels cold, but it's actually right above it. I, I think Seventh Flag is closed today. I guess they're closed. <laughs> You're wanting coffee too? Yeah, I think, I don't know, are they closed? Oh well. Starbucks, oh no. If you don't succeed, try and try again. All right, so we're gonna head over. We're just crossing the street here. There's a place called Elizabeth Street Cafe, which is a 
kind of a French, now that's a lotus flower, it's a Thai restaurant called Sway. And it's a uh, Vietnamese French like hot noodle place. We're probably gonna get tea over there. They probably won't have ginger tea, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, they're making the monies today. Seventh flag, uh, not. So here we are, Elizabeth Street Cafe. We're here, me, Max, Allison already went inside. Hey, Max really wants to go in because it's cold. But here we are, Elizabeth. Noodles, all right, open. Yeah, you can look at them up online. And you got this little courtyard area. I'm gonna sit down for a second and put my gloves on. See, I got these Cabela gloves. Here's Max. He's a great Dane, so he's so cold, he wants to come up top, and that's okay. At this time, I allow him to. All right, we're gonna go in and get some coffee, maybe soup, but uh, Happy New Year. We're enjoying the winter here in Central Texas, back home here in Central Texas. And hey, hottie, Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, we're at Elizabeth Street Cafe. Just a uh, note. It's not, it's not a, a Vietnamese restaurant. It's kind of a French bistro type. So if you're expecting Vietnamese food, this isn't it. <laughs> All right, so teas, they have a ginger bee host. All right. And then there's a, there's green tea as well. That's also pretty good. But there's, I'm gonna get the ginger tea. All right, and we're gonna read our book, The New Cycle Cybernetics, and Max is going to be here with us. All right. Anyway, thanks for joining us for this short little Canada Travels Texas on foot. Ginger tea comes in a pot. Mint tea comes in a pot. All right. That's the tactical tip for the day, the ginger tea. All right, so we're back home for the evening. And uh, yeah, it's, it's completely iced outside today. So the city of Austin is pretty much closed. So I don't think Broken Spoke here. Tuesdays, uh, Two-Step Tuesdays are going to be happening. So anyway, so I'm wearing the hat. All right, here's Max on his chewy bed. That's a Chewbacca bed. Stay. Good boy. So he's got one of these raised elevated things, and we're going to have to order more from Burt Ward because in about three months, he's going to be this tall. So it's actually healthier if they eat with their head elevated and drink that way. And uh, let me show you what I'm going to have for dinner. This here is my grill. Now, I know it looks kind of interesting. What's on this thing? How long is Allison? Allison's making... The uh, Southside Market, what is that? Sausage Slammer. Sausage Slammer with what, cheese inside cheese, and peppers. Cheese, jalapeno, so wrapped me, in a bacon. That's right. Now let me show you what I'm eating. I'm going to eat both these ribeyes right here. So the way I prepare it, I got the beef ribeye steak. It's a corte ribeye. So I got two of these guys, and they're going to go here. Once I turn the heat on, which is not that one. Here it goes. There's the heat. I'm gonna have that is what's on there is actually Carrie's Irish butter. Let me show you what it looks like. Carrie Gold. Irish butter. It's a uh, pure Irish butter imported from Ireland and it's a uh, grass-fed cows from Ireland. So as that heats up I'm gonna be able to get some to eat. Now, uh, I just slap this thing on top and you'll be able to see how awesome it is we turn the fan on. Hopefully Allison will be done because it takes me only five minutes. See, that's Carrie's Irish, Carrie's gold Irish uh, butter. And you can tell that I am now gonna put some more. I'm prepping the grill right now. I'm not gonna cook my steak yet. I'm going to put some brand new carry. So it comes in a tub as well. So highly recommended. Uh, 
you're going to get to see how this is just, listen to that. I am just, I'm prepping it with some new butter. And there's beef tallow in here from previous steaks that I've cooked. So I'm just going to even this out with the Carrie's Gold natural, naturally softer Irish butter. Now these cattle that make, these cows actually, not cattle, they're not cattle, they're cows, that make these, uh, they make the, uh, the butter, that make the butter are actually from Ireland. And they're only grass fed. So this butter is grass fed. So I don't even need, now this is Texas ribeye steak that's underneath, under the Texas tough bag. You can see that. So I don't even need to uh, like really dress it up or anything. I just put it right on there. Now as I'm, I'm just disinfecting. So this is good to disinfect it. Be careful when you do a grill like this. You want to, you might get splashed a little bit, you know, use your Qigong iron skin and it's not going to matter nothing. All right, so we're prepping it in a few moments. After Allison's done with this, I will show you. Allison, look, you're on Candid Travels, Texas. Hello. Okay, so right now, by the way, somebody claimed to be Batman. Who is it? All right, so look down here. I've prepped my grill. All right. So I don't know if you can see it. Can we put the light on? No, nope, light doesn't work. Light's broken right now. Right. So you can kind of see, I prepped the grill. I put extra Carrie's Irish butter on top. And if you're wondering, I put it on the highest flame. To heat this metal grill up. It kills and disinfects all bad stuff. And the Texas Tough bag. What I do is get my meats, and I put them in these Texas tough bags, and this is like my meal for the day, right? And once again, it is a one meal a day type of a thing, right? So we eat once every around 20 to 24 hours. When were we eat yesterday? About, about 20 hours ago. What time did we eat? Like nine. Kirby Lane Cafe, nine o'clock. So it is now. Well, yeah, we have to nine? Yeah, it was around nine. So it's like six o'clock. So we're looking at, we'll probably start eating around, what time, 6.30? I guess, I'm just defrosting this uh, soup. What? <laughs> okay. Defrosting soup. We're, okay, so we're looking at a 21 hour deal. So what we're gonna be doing is, uh, by the way, when the president pushes the big red button, Dr. Liam Stone's cell phone rings. Chuck Norris got a perfect score on the SAT simply by writing Chuck Norris on every answer. All right, so support the uh, max.com forward slash 575-625 business. It supports Chuck Norris and I's uh, business that the proceeds will uh, go to um, Kickstart Kids, which is a charity for the um, inner city kids that are high risk and we give them martial arts classes during their PE period at their school. Okay, it's a great charity uh, and it's great supplements. Let me show you what I take from my supplement. That's it, it's called Celgevity. You can order it and support us at max.com forward slash 575625. Uh, it's got and glutathione enhancer. Now what that is, is, glutathione is an antioxidant that actually reverses aging and all that kind of good stuff. And so this is what I use. Now, I'm not in business with them. I used to be uh, one of their doctors, but it's called I-26. It's a hyperimmune egg. It's an immune, a passive immunity transfer modulator. And these are all natural. None of these are made out of, that's a, I don't, I don't totally recommend this, but it's okay. It's, it's a uh, bone broth, but uh, Alex Jones uses it. I don't use it because there's stevia in it, but it's okay. If you're eating once a day, you can get away with it. Milk thistle is a nice supplement for your uh, liver. Ashwagandha is supposedly kind of a calming thing. Apple cider vinegar in capsules, which is actually uh, 
I do it in the liquid too, but some people can't swallow it. Myco ZX is a, uh, what do you call it, probiotic. A little bit of iodine. And this is called Supermel Vitale. It's actually a horny goat weed in drops. And a little bit of silver bullet, which is colloidal silver. And this is my Australian Aussie goat chia seeds. I don't think it's from Perth, Australia. Is it from Perth? Let me see. Let me look at the bottle. It is not from Perth. Where did it say? It is from... Well... It doesn't say... Oh, hold on. It doesn't, it doesn't... It's just this Australian grown. It doesn't say where in Australia. Alright. So, uh, this is also another really cool thing that I like. It's called Max ATP. And that's also available at... Um, now this does has, have kind of like stevia in it too, um, for those who don't want any sweets. It's a ribosine fuel and it, it's all natural and it also, it's a nutri nutraceutical. Uh, it, you can mix it with water and it tastes like Kool-Aid. But it helps you have energy without um, infecting your blood sugar very much. Alright, so I'm still waiting on Allison so I can cook my steak, alright? We'll be cooking the steak soon. Some more tips. Um, I usually don't recommend supplementation because I really think you need it. If you eat one meal a day, you really don't need it. But it doesn't hurt to, to have supplementation. That's the key word here, it's supplementation. It doesn't replace what you eat. You wanna eat good foods, right? So um, I, would, I normally take my supplements during the period of time that I eat my meals. So my eating window or feeding window stays small. But if you're like, like I'm pretty lean right now, look at this, six pack abs, I'm not gonna pull my shirt up because I'll let Gavin Mel do that. Anyway, you can look up his, his video uh, channel, it's G-A-V-I-N-M-E-H-L. I like him because he's an older guy and he's like not giving up, you know, and he looks great. But he, he'll take his shirt off and show his abs. I have, I have abs just like that. Just Watch one of the movies I've starred in, and you might be able to see some abs there. Maybe not. <laughs> Allison's like, I don't know. Yeah, no, you'll be able to. So, but otherwise, um, yeah, if, if you're in good shape, you can do what um, Dr. Hori Offmeckler, or he, in, in the Warriors diet, he, he recommends an under eating phase. So, during the period of time of your quote unquote fast, you can take supplements, drink teas, you know, under eating. And then you have your one meal, right, near the end of the day. And as you can tell, it is now getting dark out there. We got our pool pump going because it, it is so cold out there. It's, it is below 30, okay? We've, we've concluded it is below 30. Uh, it's, it's freezing. So the whole city of Austin and the surrounding areas of Central Texas has been shut down. And we're, this is a nice little candid travels that we rarely do at home. All right, in the kitchen. Yeah, look at how beautiful that Harry's Irish butter. It's nice and melted on top. By the way, if you're a professional chef, I'm not right now, so uh, we can actually, uh, I'm just, you know, I know I'll, you might like dress up your, your steak and stuff, but, but I like it just with Carrie's Irish butter. Okay, all right. Allison's, you're filming now, right? Yes. Cause you're, are you done with your cooking part? No, it's just boiling. You sure? Okay. So, you can do yours. All right, so, cause it, it takes me like less time to cook my meal for what I'm gonna eat. That's why I'm, oh, there's three steaks in here? What, I thought it was two. Oh, there's three of them. All right, that's fine, there's three small ones. And so, I have this on high, as you can see. It's prepped, it's, it's disinfected and ready to go. So I'm going to show you how quickly uh, this type of a cooking technique works. By the way, I don't even need to use my Star Wars spatula in this case. My ribeyes are intact. Now it's frozen, and I do have a defrost mechanism here. By the way, Allison, that's going to make your food cold. It's, they're all, I already need to warm them up anyway. Oh, they're too hot? No, I need to warm them up anyway. They're still kind of cold. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pull this steak out. Go straight up, no spillage. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak both sides. 
because I liquidated it, right? I liquidated the Irish butter, so I'm soaking it. Now, I keep it on high because I like my steaks medium rare to medium. So if you turn it on a low flame, as you know, you're gonna end up with a, probably a, a well done steak. Now, so I soaked it over here. And I'm gonna soak it over here. And I'm keeping it on high as the oil, as the oil gets hotter, you're gonna be able to notice the quick, delicious browning and burning. So here comes number three. I believe I have, yeah, you hear it? You hear it? It's starting to fizzle. You can freeze number three if you want. No, nah, I'm gonna eat three. I'm gonna eat three. I didn't eat too much meat yesterday. We ate at Kirby Lane Cafe and I did like regular food, not just, a, this is considered a more of a keto diet. I know some doctors say it's not good. Uh, you know what? You're just gonna have to. You're just gonna have to ask yourself what your creator wants you to do. Because remember, remember, your doctor doesn't own your body. You do. Listen to them, but you make the decision. All right, you hear it? It's sizzling. So this, one, these two guys, I took over on this side. Okay, right here on this side because the oil is like more shallow because it's tilted, right? Look at how beautiful that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I'm, I have to flip this side over here. This is where the oil's at. So this is a combination. This is three Texas ribeyes. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So when I'm done with this, I move these over and I put the, move that one there. All right, so thanks for joining us for this icy day here in Texas with me and Max and Allison and Reese. There's Reese. You see him? Come here. Come here. Look at Reese. Here's Reese. Hi, oh, buddy. He is not afraid of Max whatsoever because he thinks he's, his, he's the big brother. And there's Max. He's on his Chewbacca bed. Good boy. He's going to have his third meal soon. Hi, Max. Look, he's posing. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us at Canada Travels Texas on Texas Icy Day and tactical tips for older people to not move away into a warmer climate <laughs> and how we need all our seasons and some cooking things that I do personally. Gosh, all right? Look at how beautiful that looks. Woo! Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Practicing the lightsaber there. Candid Travels, Texas. Max is.